Hi, Michael J. Lavery. Thanks very much for tuning in to my Whole Brain Power YouTube channel. If you click the link below this video, you get access to the free PDF that I offer that will help you with your quest to become a better golfer. So let me show you some of the ideas that I've developed over the last 15 years that will help you with your golf game. So here's this concept that I've been working on for many years. Bouncing a golf ball off a rubber mallet. So this helps you with your hand-eye coordination, this improves your eyesight, and this improves your ambidexterity. Notice that I'm flipping the hammer from one hand to the other, and I also have the ability to stop the golf ball on the hammer, make it come to a rest on a dimple. That means that I have the steadiness of hand, and then I do it with my left hand as well. Now, let's take a look at some of the tools of the trade here. These are the hammers that I train with. This helps with the density factor. This helps with the deflection factor. So let's take a look at the driver. This is one of the most difficult clubs in the bag to hit. So this is one of my skills that I practice. I bounce the golf ball on the driver face and then I stop the ball on the, the convex surface and I stay with it. This is spatial intelligence. Let's see if we can do that again now. And now I'm doing that with my dominant right hand. Let me see if I can do it with my left hand as well. Let me ask you a fundamental question. Are you right-handed or are you left-handed? How about becoming highly skilled with either hand? And some of the secrets that I offer happen to be doing mirror image handwriting the way Da Vinci did it. I didn't reinvent the wheel. All I'm doing is introducing the wheel to people that's already existed. So if you start to look at your non-dominant hand, this is the hand that pulls through. So just imagine that your grip strength in your left hand was significantly better. And I'll tell you one of the ways that it can get way better. So it's, imagine you having this four pound sledgehammer and you're bouncing the golf ball on the four pound sledgehammer and you're doing it hundreds of times and you're putting spin on it. And then you're flipping the hammer to your left hand as well here. And then there's a dog that's barking in the background but still it doesn't affect my concentration. So imagine taking your wedge so this is my 64 degree wedge. Imagine just taking the wedge and stopping the ball and making it come to a rest. And then spinning the ball. Let's see if the camera can actually come in there and get the spin of this golf ball here. Look, look at this ball here, it's spinning. And then what I'm doing is I'm putting backspin on it here. So around the green, these type of drills here will help your golf game immensely. So this four pound sledgehammer is a convex surface. So in order for a person to actually stop the golf ball on the hammerhead and speak to the camera at the same time, this takes tremendous multitasking. So imagine if you could take a ball ping hammer, a ball ping hammer, mind you, and bounce the golf ball on the round side of the ball ping hammer. Believe it or not, my unofficial world record is 1,676 times. And with my left hand, I can do it in excess of 300 times. So we're going to take two hammers now. And this is for the advanced whole brain power student. We're going to take two hammers. We're going to bounce it off the flat side of the hammer to the round side of the hammer. We're going to go flat side, round side, flat side, round side. And then we're going to practice multitasking. So here's the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So with this high degree of ambidexterity, I have the confidence now to go out there and practice at golf and hit the ball rather consistently because my deflection factor, my strength in my arms have improved immensely. So watch this golf ball when it hits the cement. Look it. I'm not throwing it against the cement, I'm just dropping it and it's coming back to my hand. So it, it came back 80% from where it came from, just from the pure deflection. But if it hits me on the chest, it's basically absorbing into the muscle. So just imagine that your muscles and your bones are denser because you're doing these hammer drills. Now let's take a look at the 16 pound sledgehammer. Now this is pretty radical. My unofficial world record, believe it or not, is 694 consecutive times. So when I'm bouncing the ball off a 16 pound sledgehammer, it proves I have either way too much time in my hands or I have this passion about getting better at golf. So I'm moving my left hand down the hammer a little bit now. So as I recite, say the states in alphabetical order, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts. 
and that's where I'm from. And I'm going 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. This is all multitasking. You can read about all of this in the Whole Brain Power book. Hey, thanks very much for tuning into today's Whole Brain Power session. And I hope you click that link below and you can get access to that free PDF file that I'm offering. Thanks again.